Congress returns to work in Washington tomorrow after a two-week break. Impeachment may be top of mind in D.C., but members of Congress still have plenty of other topics to address. Congressman Mark Pocan is Wisconsin's second congressional district. He joins us now. We should know we did invite Republican Representative Brian Stile of the first district to appear on today's show. He was unavailable, but Representative Pocan, we appreciate you coming you in. Yeah. Absolutely. Glad to be here. So you've been very busy conducting town halls around Wisconsin and also, of course, doing your work in D.C. So what have you heard? Heard so far from folks in southern Wisconsin? Well, we did one in every county in the last couple of weeks. So we hit um, a bunch of town halls, talked to a lot of different people. Uh, top three issues that kind of came up one, impeachment. Everyone's talking about it, sure. everyone's concerned. Um, they think the president thinks he's above the law, and that's uh, pretty consistent in every county that's come up. Healthcare and prescription drug prices, and we're about to take up a really big prescription drug bill to try to reduce the cost of uh, drugs for everyone. Um, and then the third thing, especially um, out there, out every county outside of Dane, but even in the Dane County, the farm economy. People are really hurting right now. It's not just that prices are historically low and that some of the costs have gone up from the big agribusiness. There's very few people. It's becoming an antitrust problem we're having. But then all the tariff uh, wars, whether it be the tweets and tariff wars with China, uh, the Japanese trade agreement affects dairy a lot, and then also the NAFTA 2.0. Mm -hmm. Between the three of them, there, there really is a squeeze that farmers are feeling. That's very personal issues for a lot of people. Uh, you know, it's the backbone of the rural area is the farm economy, and when you've got 1,600 family farms closing just since Donald Trump became president, and right now um, they're really hurting because of the tariff uh, issue especially. Uh, you know, if you have, grow corn, soybeans, a dairy farmer, uh, you're feeling the squeeze. Are there other things, Representative, that we should be talking about, paying attention to? Because I think you hit a lot of the big headline issues mm -hmm. here. Are there other things that you hope that Wisconsinites are keeping in mind right now? Well, I'm always hopeful that we'll get something done in Washington, which may be hopefully not <laughs> naive, but I, I like to always hope. Um, I think there's a couple areas where there's some hope around that. Prescription drug pricing. Actually, mm -hmm. there is some common language uh, by the White House and the Democrats in the House, um, especially around generics. Uh, Scott Gottlieb, the former FDA commissioner, uh, used to say they wanted to have three generic equivalents for every drug. If you have one generic equivalent, you lower the price of drug 6%. Two, you lower the price 48%. Three, you lower the price 66%. So we've had a couple pieces of legislation that maybe we can work with the president on, including a piece that we've got coming out in the next couple weeks. Um, infrastructure, you know, uh, we were somewhere between a trillion and two trillion. We really need about 4.6 trillion to really address our infrastructure needs. Uh, just an uh, interesting fact, one out of every six bridges in this country is old enough to be eligible for Medicare. <laughs> Tells <laughs> you a little bit about that's the That's reassuring. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, and then finally, I'm, I'm uh, maybe more wishful than hopeful around gun violence prevention. You know, sure. We've sent a few bills to the Senate, some with 90% support to fix the loopholes and the background checks. Uh, I would hate for just another major incident to happen in order to make us act, and I'm always hopeful that we might be able to get some reasonableness. When 90% of the public agrees on that, uh, that's a pretty good place that we should be working together. Does it get frustrating? Yeah, you know, I think the number one question I get is, how can you handle it out there? Um, and I think they mean especially with this president, uh, as you can imagine around here, we hear that. And, it, you know, it can be. Um, you know, I came from a time when, you know, Democrats and Republicans worked together a little better when I was in the legislature. And since 2010, that's been a little more difficult. And um, so I, I'm always hopeful and I always think the, uh, there's ways we can move the ball forward. But um, it, it makes everyone have to try to have to work together. And um, believe it or not, that's been harder than it used to be. I was going to say, can they? I still think so. I mean, we all think you should have lower drug prices. Why are we paying 10 times what you pay in Canada for insulin? Um, why are we paying $1,000 a pill for a hep C drug that you have to take 90 days in a row when uh, I heard they're licensing it in India for something like $10? Um, those should be some common issues that you work together regardless of political affiliation. So I think, you know, let's see if we can rise up to it. Are certain issues, though, taking priority over some of the issues that you're talking about? I mean, are there some pressing things that are needing to get done before these other things? I think impeachment will, something will happen between now and the end of the year. So sure. that's not going to be a prolonged process because we already have, uh, in this particular case with the call to the Ukraine, we have a, a motive of a crime, uh, a confession and evidence, which we didn't have previously with the Mueller report. So that does speed up the process. But but I think, um, you know, prescription drugs, again, I mean, where you can try to find something in common and get it done is what's really important. Also, our fiscal year ended September 30th. Sure. 
we kind of did our homework in the House, but the Senate didn't. Um, so before the August break, we had passed all the bills out of committee. I serve on the Appropriations Committee, 10 of the 12 on the floor. The Senate hadn't done a single one yet. So we have to extend our fiscal year, so to speak, till um, right before Thanksgiving. That's something that's a 101 of your job. We should be able to get that done. So I think that's going to be uh, pending. And, um, you know, there's always other always issues work. that rise. Always yeah. work, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to work tomorrow. Good luck. Yep. Thank you very much. We'll see you Safe soon. Yeah, appreciate home. it. Of course. Thank you. And we'll head to Lambeau right after this.